Hello everyone, I'm going to do an unboxing and review about this Porsche right here and as you can see it's a pretty big box. I believe it comes uh, with a magazine just like this one right here. Also did a review about this one, also comes with uh, a magazine and a car that I have right here. You can look it up on my YouTube channel. Uh, this one is from uh, Mini Champs, 164 scale, bare metal look, and that is also the reason I bought it. Uh, to be honest, I didn't care much about the rest that comes with it, but uh, hallelujah, I was not expecting a box this big. I ordered this on AliExpress and I will put the link in the description. You can find it in the link below below the video uh, lots of information here on the box you can freeze the frame if you want to read it exclusive interview yeah this is definitely uh, some sort of magazine that's inside uh, mini champs 164 Porsche well, I do have to say that a box like this makes it extra exclusive. A lot of QR codes right here. Car Lover Diecast, the five-star global online store for Diecast models. Well, we need more uh, normal stores that you can visit, not online stores, but yeah, we need those online stores, unfortunately. Uh, okay, um, yeah, let's open this box. You can see a magazine right here. So this is the magazine. There's a mini GT on the back. Content for the next issue to be continued. Interesting, definitely have to uh, check this out. But first we're going to uh, have a look at the car. And that comes in this plastic protection. I'm going to put this one right here on the ground. Yes, so that's also right here on the ground. And then, like I said, first we're going to have a look at the car and then afterwards for the ones who are interested in the magazine. Wow, uh, looks fantastic in this color. And it got black rims. I like black rims. Uh, what does it say right here? Let's switch to white mode. Mini Champs, Pulse Model Art. Here it says CLDC exclusive. We got a, a lot of information. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Yeah, ah, I still have to go. There is the Mini Champs headquarter, and there's also a Mini Champs museum. And I definitely have to make a video over there. So next time I'm going to Aachen. I try to visit uh, the Mini Champs Museum if I'm welcome. Not sure. Okay, it comes in a nice display case, two screws. Uh, you can take this off like this. Wow. This is an absolute beauty. Yep, metal body. Side mirrors with silver sticker on it. Uh, brake disc and a red brake claw. I like that. Good rims. Uh, lanced lights here in the back. Exhaust, big spoiler. And it's made out of plastic. Um, 
Let's have a look inside. Black interior. Uh, looks like some color details on the dashboard. Was not expecting that. Of do I'm seeing it? Let's have a like this now. It's a little bit difficult to see. Let's focus on that point with my camera. Yeah, we have color details. I was not expecting that. That is a very nice surprise. I was hoping it. Uh, come on. Give me some. Give me a sharp look in the car. A little bit difficult to see this way. Huh? A little bit uh, amateuristic what I'm doing. Okay, we can see the seats. Let's, let's do it like this again. Just to be sure. I need a new camera. Yep, definitely color details. 100%. Okay, let's take the car off the base. It would be perfect if it has a metal base, but I think not because, to be honest, the model feels pretty light. So I think we're not dealing with a metal base. No, plastic base. But we do have nice rolling slick tires. Very good. Ones in the front rolling a little bit more difficult, but they are rolling good. Yeah. Plastic base. Really nice looking car. I love the looks of the paint of the bare metal look. Porsche logo, so everything is complete. Fantastic. Love it. Okay. Um, Let's have a look at the magazine. Um, how I'm going to do that. First I'm going to open the plastic. Yep, I can do that right here without ripping it apart. I have to keep this as original as possible. Because in my opinion, this is a very nice collector's item. Okay. <clears throat> so let's uh, do it like this. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. So I think this is the best way to do it. Yeah. Let's have a quick look. Okay. A lot of text. Right here, freeze the frame if you want to read it. Freeze the frame if you want to read it. Exclusive interview, mini champs. So this is the place where I have to go to in Aachen. Uh, current manager of mini champs. So the story of mini champs. Did you have any job before this? Blah, blah, blah. That's a pretty interesting, uh, and it is in English. That's also a good thing. The one from uh, x -Car Toys was in Chinese or Japanese. Impossible for me to read. So this is a pretty interesting story. Look at this huge building. Yeah, and like I told you, they have a big museum. How did you determine the style and the variety of the models? Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we see some uh, photos from the museum. 
after any new plan for mini champs in 2024 how's the progress going interesting questions here this is a very nice magazine for the one uh, who made this thumbs up and i was saying uh i'm not really interested in uh, all the things that comes with the packets well <laughs> i'm taking that back i'm definitely going to taking that back this is a really cool magazine With the questions that you want to know. Hey, got this one. No, I, I, I don't got this one. This is a 118 skill. You are a 164 skill collector, uh, dude. Okay, we get the mini, ch mini champs motorcycles. More motorcycles. Oh, this looks definitely 164. CLDC exclusive. This is a little bit like uh, the models from Webros. And now you're saying Webros, Webros, what, what is Webros? Well, I'm going to show you because I have a couple in my collection. And that was also in collab with uh, Mini Champs. Yeah, but where in your collection did you put those uh, Porsches, dude? Ah, there. There they are. There they are. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So, here I've got some Wee Bros. Yeah, well, it says Mini Champs, but they're made. Um... And there is nothing that saying Webros. It's all mini champs, but I definitely ordered this on Tom's, and it says Webros. But mini mini uh, mini mini kitty mini champs produced these models, and they got a couple. I have no room to put this here. But this is one. Still have to do reviews about this. I think I got most of them. And they're looking fantastic. They also got this gray version. Put some light on, it's getting... Oh, then I have to do this, and I have to do this. See, we also got this gray version. Yeah, this is also a cool one, uh, I know. I still play with cars. Very hard to get at this moment. I should order two. Uh, this is... Yeah, this is definitely mini champs. We got another one and another one. And there. A red version. So yeah, quite a lot. But back to the magazine. I think this is also a cool one. Yeah, I think so too. Back to the magazine. Where were we? These are definitely must-haves. They are looking really good. Ooh, I like this white version. Okay, man. CLDC shop. Why do we open a store? When did we start this industry? All interesting questions. Initial D. Oh, I see a lot of must-haves. Yeah, got this one in the collection, got this one in the collection. Don't have this one in the collection. I do have this one in the collection. This is definitely a big must-have. Figures, also very important. What products are currently being launched? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Mm 
BBR models, also a fantastic brand. Are they coming with a Ferrari? That would be awesome. New products arrival on March 2024. Yeah, I think I've ordered the red Porsche. Mm, yeah, only the red Porsche. And the Audi and this blue Porsche. Top speed, but this is 118 Raisin skill. Kyoso. Oh yeah, Kyoso comes with a, a beautiful initial D3 car set. I think I saw it on uh, AliExpress, but I thought it was a little bit too expensive for my wallet. 118 Raisin, Tarmac 164, anyone's I have on my wish list. Porsche, I think. No, no, yeah, maybe the Alfa Romeo and the Dodge Viper. Got some American diorama figures here. Magic City diorama, this is cool. This is very cool. I've got a couple of Magic City uh, dioramas. There's coming a, a Shell tank station, but I've ordered that one from G-Fans. It's, uh, you can do a pre-order for the Shell G-Fans diorama. And as soon as it is available, I'm going to do a review. UPS Mini GT truck, yes. A review is coming soon. Kaido House. More tarmac right here. More Magic City diorama. Hey, I haven't seen, these are new for me. Pretty cool dioramas, but I have a lot of those Magic City dioramas. Yeah, Ignition model, fantastic high-end brand, 118 scale, but they also have uh, 164 scale. What do we got here? Uh, collector share. Uh, this is also ignition model. Ooh, definitely. So hey. definitely need this. One. What the hell? Where can I find this one? So hey. I do have this one, but this one. Hallelujah! Where can I find that? Uh, so way. I do have the one from Tomica, and Pop Race is also coming with a version of this one. Where do I have the one from? Yeah, there it is, the one from Tomica. Did a review about it on my uh, YouTube channel. With license plate. Love it. It's not going to be cheap because uh, ignition model is uh, very expensive. What have we got here? Special edition. Ha! Huh, that's the one. Here it is. I got it. It's mine! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, fantastic model. Read the frame if you want to read it. Wow! Hong Kong toy car event, yes. Yeah, I got the red version. And I think I also have the normal. I think I got it right here. Um, yep. 
did a review about it, but this is the one uh, from the magazine. Sweet. Wonderful combination. Yep, yeah, also a big fan of this style. I've never seen initial D, but I like it. Hobby Expo China CLDC you did a great job with this magazine and of course with this beautiful car right here in collab with uh, Mini GT fantastic well done uh, like I said link in the description of where I bought it be fast be quick before everything is gone, don't forget to smash the like button, click, 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 and I will see you soon. Bye.